Hey guys, let's get more news about Steelers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Analysts believe Steelers QB Russell Wilson is not capable of revenge. A few new members of the Steelers will have opportunities to enact their revenge on their former teams this season. The most notable among those is quarterback Russell Wilson, who will make his return to Denver in Week 2 after spending the past two years with the Broncos. It is a much-anticipated matchup because Denver is willing to take a $53 million cap hit in 2024 and a $32 million cap hit in 2025 to part ways with Wilson. However, ESPN analyst Kevin Clark doesn't think it will live up to the hype. Wilson's two-year stint with the Broncos was disappointing, but he seems to be getting over-criticized. He wasn't bad by any means last season, passing for 3,070 yards, 26 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions. That would be a massive upgrade for the Steelers, who saw quarterbacks Kenny Pickett, Mason Rudolph and Mitchell Trubisky combined for just 13 touchdowns and 9 interceptions last year. Still, Denver feels it is worth paying Wilson $37.79 million to not play for it this season. That says enough about how the team feels about him and why Clark doesn't think Wilson be able to revitalize his career in Pittsburgh. He was objectively bad enough to say, we don't want you to be as part of our future, Clark added. Wilson does seem to be set up for success in Pittsburgh as several players have already been giving new offensive coordinator Arthur Smith's offense rave reviews. However, only time will tell if Wilson will be able to get his revenge. The Steelers are surely hoping he gets off to a fast start since the game will be played in front of a national audience, for 25 p.m. Eastern Time, in Week 2. Insider, Justin Fields likely to be the Pittsburgh Steelers starting quarterback, in 2025. Justin Fields will head into OTAs this month as the Pittsburgh Steelers' QB2. The starting job belongs to veteran quarterback Russell Wilson. However, a Steelers insider thinks Fields has a better chance of staying in Pittsburgh beyond the 2024 season than Wilson. Following his release from the Denver Broncos, the Steelers signed Wilson to a veteran minimum contract for the 2024 season in March. The Steelers then traded away Kenny Pickett. With 2023 quarterbacks Mason Rudolph and Mitch Trubisky gone, the Steelers traded with the Chicago Bears for Justin Fields to be Wilson's backup. Wilson and Fields are in the last year of their contract with the Steelers after choosing not to pick up Fields' fifth-year option. Mark Cavalli with The Athletic wrote that he does not expect the Steelers to extend Wilson this summer. Wilson is making the veteran minimum from the Steelers, and the Broncos are paying the rest of his $39 million salary. He will become a free agent next year, and the Steelers could lose out on him, but their hands are tied. You don't extend a 35-year-old quarterback before he takes a snap for you. The Steelers have to hope that, if Wilson has a solid 2024 season, his priority is staying with them. Prediction, not extended. The Steelers took a risk by upgrading their quarterback room on a pair of one-year patches. While the Steelers will need to consider another long-term option at quarterback by another means in the following offseason, they could take a gamble on Fields for the 2025 season. The Steelers are hoping Fields can progress as a quarterback in their system. Fields is a curious case. He didn't have his fifth-year option picked up, and rightfully so, it would have guaranteed him $25.7 million in 2025. His shortcomings over his first three seasons don't warrant a lucrative extension. Still, if the Steelers use 2024 to determine whether he is the long-term answer at the position, they would lose all of their leverage by allowing him to hit free agency. The prudent thing to do is extend him now at a reduced price to ensure that he will be on the roster in 2025 without a huge risk to the salary cap. The Packers did that with Jordan Love, albeit before the fifth-year option deadline. Prediction, extended. Justin Fields as a starter in 2025 wouldn't cost them a day two pick. October 9, 2022, Minneapolis, Minnesota, USA, Chicago Bears quarterback Justin Fields, won, in action against the Minnesota Vikings at U.S. Bank Stadium. Mandatory credit, Jeffrey Becker USA Today Sports Ironically, the Steelers traded the Bears a conditional sixth-round pick. For the Bears to receive a 2025 fourth-round pick, 
Fields must play more than 51% of the Steelers' offensive snaps in the upcoming season. The Bears might have given the Steelers their long-term starter, but it's a year too early to recoup a day-two pick. For more football news, follow me on Twitter at, at Jordan Sig. You can also reach out to Jordan Sigler via email at jordansigler at gmail.com. To read more of our articles and keep up to date on the latest in college and NFL news, click here. Steelers signed former Titans RB. Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh Steelers have inked running back Jonathan Ward to a contract following his rookie minicamp tryout, according to KPRC2's Aaron Wilson. Ward, 26, was invited to rookie camp after going and signed in free agency. The former Tennessee Titans and Arizona Cardinals runner has 42 games of NFL experience under his belt and has contributors as both a running back and a special teamer during his career. Ward stood out during minicamp, impressing Steelers running backs coach Eddie Faulkner. With some strong pass-blocking skills, Ward said Faulkner told him he has old man hands, complementing his ability to block. Ward will come to OTAs and minicamp with an opportunity to make the 53-man team alongside Najee Harris, Jalen Warren and Corderell Patterson. While Pittsburgh doesn't always keep four runners, they tend to utilize a fourth when it's their best offensive-slash-special teams option. With Ward being able to work in the backfield and on coverage, he should get a shot to earn a place in Pittsburgh this summer. And are you a fan? What do you think of the Jonathan Ward situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.